Greetings, adventurers, and welcome to Skill Tree, where we learn how to do just about everything. Now, you may notice that I am dressed up in some medieval style garb. This is because I will soon be going to my very first LARP ever, and I'm trying to get, like, my outfit together. It takes place in Indiana, and it's called The Reckoning. And I am so jazzed to go. Now, my character, Gareth, is part of the Rivlin people, and is kind of like a rough-and-tumble ranger type. As I am putting this outfit together, I'm noticing that I really want to have some, like, like rough gloves, right? Gloves and, like, a gauntlet kind of assembly. That being said, I'm just a little over a week away from going to this thing, and I've already spent a boatload of money. So today, I'm going to try to figure out if we can actually take some cheap work gloves that I picked up from Harbor Freight and Tool and transmute them into some badass ranger gauntlet. So stick around as we level up this skill. Now for starters, as I said, I picked up these cheap gauntlets from Harbor Freight and Tool. These are about $6.50. That being said, they're genuine leather and they don't seem to have been like treated or dyed with anything. They seem to be the natural leather. So my hope is that they're gonna be able to take a stain really well. First things first though, we gotta remove this red trim fabric from around the cuff here. Doesn't really match the whole ranger aesthetic. Luckily, with almost no effort, this stuff just kind of tears away. I did say the gloves were $6.50. All right, so the vibe I'm going to be going for with this character is very, like, Aragorn, right? As such, I wanted them to be gritty and utilitarian and look very well used. And like Aragorn's gloves, I want them to be fingerless or, like, half finger, whatever you call that. So to that end, I first took a ruler to give me a nice even distance across each finger and marked it with an awl. Then I went back in and just cut all those fingers short. Upon putting it on though, I realized it looks stupid. So it turns out all your fingers, you know, they're different heights and thus your knuckles are gonna be all different heights. Stupid, swear to God. So I went back in with my awl and made little marks just above the knuckle on each finger. Then went ahead and cut all of those marks short. And after cutting off all the excess, I was much happier with how that looked. So much so, I just followed suit with the thumb. And already, these look so much better. A little less clearing my bushes from the backyard, a little more clearing my enemies from the battlefield. So for my next trick, I needed to change their color to something a little bit more fitting a ranger. For that, I decided they would look really good with a dark brown. And right away, I could see that it isn't going to take that color evenly. I'm sure there was some kind of treatment done on those gloves, but I honestly don't mind if it's a little uneven. Again, these are supposed to be gritty and nasty and kind of older looking. And that's exactly the vibe I was able to get out of these. This is way better than the untreated glove, looking all older and used. In fact, I was really tempted to just leave them like this. I was already super happy. But A, that would make a really short episode for you. And B, I did want to give it a little, a little more gravitas, a little, a little something else. Maybe like a little little buckle or a tiny wrap. But then, and this has turned out to be kind of my favorite part of doing the whole LARPing thing so far, is I decided, like, what would this character want? Now, this dude does some swordplay, and he's very much an archer. So, obviously, he needs something to protect his forearm from that bowstring hitting, right? So, with that in mind, I was thinking maybe to kind of wrap something further down to, to add almost like a, like a bracer to these things. But because he's out in the back country kind of moving from place to place and has to use whatever he can get his hands on, I'm like enamored with this being just kind of a piecemeal together thing. Like normally I try to keep all my pieces really clean, but I want it to look like found some leather, stitched it to his gauntlet to make the thing he needed happen. So that in mind, I dug out some of these scrap pieces of milled veg tan leather from my scrap pile. Thought here is that I can just kind of roughly wrap it and then hold it together with some cordage to give me the exact kind of feel I'm looking for. Of course, to make it flow a little bit better, I just dyed all that leather that same brown color. I also went ahead and dyed these strips with a light brown to give me some contrast in color. Now, because those gloves wouldn't take the color as readily as like an untreated piece of leather, I know these are gonna look different when I put them together. But again, because of what I'm going for here, I'm honestly okay with that. I want it to look piecemeal. I want it to look just, again, I don't wanna abuse the word, but really utilitarian. Now, as that dye was drying, I did notice this one little bit on the gloves that I didn't like. You see how they flare out on the cuffs over here? I just thought it had kind of a clunky, weird look. But I found that if I kind of folded the leather in where it splits here, I'm able to get a much more form-fitted kind of look. To make it hold that shape, I simply punched a couple of holes straight through that fold. 
and then really roughly stitched it together. Once my dye was dry, I was able to put everything together and try to assess exactly what the look I was going for was gonna be. Basically just kind of wrapping it all together with this strap holding everything into place. I also wanted that whole strapping assembly to be what holds that glove on a little bit more tightly. To do that, I decided to connect the leather right onto the glove. Basically just punching some holes right through that forearm leather and into the glove, and then lock it into place with some really simple stitches. Again, I can just see this guy by the campfire in the woods with an awl just being like, oh, I just need to connect these things together. Stitch, 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 done. And it really does work well. This holds together nice and tight. Now to continue that wrap and hold everything into place, I just did the same thing, knocking some holes into the very end of this strip and the corner of that forearm piece, and then locking them together with a little bit more wax thread. Now we're really starting to get that deep wood ranger slash post-apocalyptic kind of vibe. But we still need to find a way to hold that all into place. The simplest solution to this was just to punch a hole right at the very end of that wrap and then run some leather cord through it, knotting it at the end so it doesn't slide back out. Now I can use that cord to make one more wrap around and then tie to itself to finally lock everything into place. And I love how these look. This is 100% the kind of vibe I was going for with this character. Just some rough and tumble ranger who needs to escort some hobbits to a mountain of fire. You know, like you do. I'm certainly not in my, my dandy clothes here, but like with armor on and like a cloak, I really need a cloak. But I love how gritty these came out. They're so cool. And for what, $6.50 and some scrap leather? Come on. Now I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, why don't you give me some of that like it love and don't forget to subscribe so you know when I release new content. In the meantime though, keep leveling up you. You stay to the end screen and I'm glad you did because I wanted to shut up my newest Patreon member. Blake Schuyler, thank you so much for joining the ranks of these incredible people to keep this whole thing running. I honestly couldn't do it without all of these great people and I'm so happy that you decided to join in. If any of you like what I do here enough to give us some support, consider joining the Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, just go ahead and click on one of these videos here and that helps too.